Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about downloading Wikipedia onto an Android device for viewing with Kiwix. So I've done a previous video for the iPad. I'll put a link in the description to that. So where I'm at here is I have a Nexus 7 tablet and I'm in the Google Play Store and I have the Kiwix Wikipedia offline app that I search for and I'll hit install. Okay, so now I'll open it and we're at the startup page. So the reason you might want to download Wikipedia onto a device is if you have a child that's studying and you don't want them on the, the full internet, you just want them to be able, able to access Wikipedia, you could use it in an emergency situation. There's um, you know, chemicals on there, knots, uh, medical things. Um, it's a, you know, a vast store of information. So in an emergency situation, you might um, the internet could be out and you want to find some information out. And right now it's uh, April 2020, coronavirus is really big and internet can get kind of slowed down at times. So you could download this to a tablet at night and then uh, during the day when your child needs to access things, it'll be a lot faster. So I'll hit get started here. It says allow Kiwix to access photos, media and files on your device. I'll hit allow and then I'll hit this download books. So this is gonna download a list of all the books available. So this works with Wikipedia, but it also works with Wikiquotes. I mean, there's a, a vast store of knowledge you could load into this system. So the first thing you see here is Wikibooks. If we scroll down here, so I should mention that you can click this globe here and select different languages. There's many languages here. If I scroll down, somewhere around here is Wikipedia. So here's a version of Wikipedia here. It's 1.8 gigabytes. It says Simple Maxi. If you just want to test this out, there's this Ray Charles version. It's only 2.4 megabytes. Here's Wiktionary. That's a dictionary. Here's Wikimed. It's a medical dictionary. I think that one for physics also. Here's a best of Wikipedia. It's uh, 251 megabytes. So there's a lot of options here. I find this to be kind of intimidating to scroll through. There's so many options. It's kind of overwhelming. So what I like to do is plug this into a computer, download it off the Kiwix website, and then transfer it to the device. One thing about that is you can download it on your computer and uh, add it to multiple devices. If you have multiple tablets or a phone, tablet, computers, um, so you don't have to download it on each device. You could download it here. I can tap, oops. I was trying to show you something and I got kind of messed up, so I'm back at where I started. But uh, if I want to download something, I can tap it. It'll start downloading. I'll stop this though, I don't want to download it here. The iPad version is a little nicer than this. It seems to be a little more organized. And when you click it, you can determine if you want to do it on cellular or Wi-Fi. But I'm going to switch over to the computer and we'll check out loading it from there. So in order to connect up to the computer, I plugged it in. And then if I drag down from the top, you see USB for file transfer. I want that to be on file transfers, MTP. Okay, so now I'm over at my Windows 10 PC. I'm at the Kiwix website, it's kiwix.org. I can go to download and content, and it says available ZIM files. So the file format is called ZIM, and you want to go here to Kiwix Wiki. I'll click on that. And this has a huge list of files you can download. Interestingly, this is on English here, and it seems to show lots of different languages, so I'm not sure why that is. Um, it doesn't seem to filter properly. The easy way to find what I wanted is I searched the page for simple. And here you see on the left it says Wikipedia English. Uh, we have simple all maxi, simple all mini, and simple all no pick. So this one is the one I've downloaded. It's 443 megabytes, and it has the full Wikipedia, I think, with no pictures. So I've already downloaded that. So I want to transfer that over to the Nexus. So I'll open up another Explorer window. I'll click on the PC, this PC. We'll click on my Nexus 7. I'll click on internal storage. And then I'll right click here, I'll say new folder and I'll call it Kiwix. I'll open that folder up and then I'll drag over this file, the ZIM file.
Okay, so that copied it over to the device. I'll go back to the tablet and we'll take a look at it. So on the tablet interface, I want to hit device here and this will show what I have downloaded. I'll refresh this by dragging down. Okay, so this one I think I partially started downloading. I'll hold my finger down on it, I'll hit trash. I'll get rid of it. And here we have the Wikipedia Simple English. I can tap on that. And we have the Wikipedia interface up now. I can click on words like encyclopedia. Oh, it's teaching me how to use it here a little bit. I'm going to click on alphabetical order. There we go. So we're on the alphabetical order page. Click on Renaissance. Scientist. You see it's very fast because the data is all on this device. It doesn't have all the pictures you would expect. So I can go to search here and I'll look up Abraham Lincoln. Okay, we've got Abraham Lincoln here. So if you went to the full Wikipedia page, I'm pretty sure it shows a picture of him over on the right side. We don't have a picture there. So this does work with external links if you do have internet access. Okay, yeah, so on the bottom left here, we can do like a bookmark. This is the contents. We can go home. Click on the three dots here. We can go to our bookmarks. Three dots. We also have history, library, full screen, read aloud, host books, helper settings. Let's take a look at the settings. So it has night mode, uh, back to top, says display a button at the end of the page to scroll to the top, keep the toolbar visible, open tab in the background, warn when entering external links, download content only via Wi-Fi. Okay, there's that setting there. And it tells us our storage, it's internal, 1.2 gigabytes, uh, zoom controls on or off, History, notes, languages, information, and credits. So I think this is a neat bit of software if you want to download Wikipedia onto an Android device. Like I said, I'll put my video for the iPad down in the description. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.